everyone, it's Kyle. So I'm doing a little bit of an update and I'm also going to do a share the love video combined in one. So I updated like a 10 second video of, um, I wasn't sure if I was ovulating or not. And honestly, I am just so impatient. I was really mad at myself after the fact, but, um, okay. So in November, I wasn't seeing any positive OPKs and in hindsight I realized that I was only taking them mid morning to like late afternoon I didn't take any at night so that was my fault and I probably just missed the um like surge you get before seeing a positive OPK um I definitely felt ovulation symptoms in terms of like cramping and I always get really nauseous when I ovulate for some reason or like right around ovulation and I definitely had that last month but I didn't get a positive OPK to prove it so this month came and I was on cycle day 13 and I usually ovulate on cycle day 14 so when cycle day 13 came and went without a positive I was really concerned like oh my god I didn't get a positive for two months like what is going on so I YouTubed everything, I Googled everything, I went to like forums and stuff and I couldn't really find anyone that had taken Clomid a couple months previous and then um, wasn't ovulating afterwards. It was usually like they took Clomid and they still didn't ovulate. So I couldn't really find anything that related to me. So I called my um, OBGYN, they called me back and they said it is possible that once you start taking fertility drugs, it can really mess you up. It can mess up your cycle and this and that, but it didn't match up because I was still having regular 29 day cycles. So she thought maybe I had just missed the surge and I didn't see the positive OPK. And seriously, like no sooner after I was like done making a video about how upset I was that I didn't get a positive OPK this month, I freaking got a positive OPK, like literally like minutes later. So, um, I'm ecstatic about that because <laughs> I was really worried, but it just was like another lesson like in your face, like seriously, just be patient. So I'm still learning, but okay. So that's my update. And as far as the share the love goes, I actually got this idea from one of the girls that I watch. She's not a TTC or she, I don't want to call her like a makeup guru, more of more of the fact she's just like a real life girl that loves makeup and um, she just had a baby named Buddy who is so stinking cute. Her name's Elizabeth and I will link her channel below. She is amazing at like special effect makeup, Halloween makeup. She does tutorials um, and when I say she's like down to earth and like a real life girl she goes into Target and she buys like real life stuff like she's not going into like you know high end places like she's a mom and I just I love that about her I love how real she is and she's so funny and she doesn't even try to be funny um she has no idea who I am so I just um with that being said like no one I'm about to talk about like asked me to do this share the love I'm just doing it because I absolutely enjoy watching their channel so um yeah her channel's below and then there is two TTCers that I wanted to share the love with the first I think all of you know her name is Lisa and um she is like such a joy to watch this TTC journey can be so upsetting sometimes and you can get really down on yourself and her laugh is just so contagious. Like, I can't, I just look forward to watching her videos. Like, as soon as she has one up, I'm like, I just, I don't know. I love it. And, um, she's really good about getting on YouTube all of the time and making these videos. And I can't say the same for myself. I can go, like, weeks without making a video. And she is just so good at it and if she's like going to be traveling or something she lets you know that she's not going to have a video up for a while she's amazing so definitely check her out if you don't know who I'm talking about and then the second one um her name is Crystal and her YouTube name is Mrs. To a Mama she is honestly like I just feel like I relate to her so much um 
she just had an IUI done and she shares her experience with you like from an honest perspective. She's really down to earth and she knows what she's talking about, which I um I just think like when you're going through TTC and and you go onto YouTube and you see all these girls that are going through the same thing and you're like reaching out for somebody that has either had the experience that you're going to have or had an experience similar to yours. You just kind of like latch onto those people and she's one of those that kind of just got me. Like she sucked me in. So um, again, her name is Mrs. To a Mama Crystal. Um, she is amazing. She's really good about getting videos up there too. So um, prayers to my TTCers that I just mentioned and I hope that everyone gets their BFP soon. And um, I'm going to continue to do the share the love videos. Um, I'm going to do like two or three girls at a time. That way you're not, you know, bombarded with a list of like 12 people. And you're like, oh my God, I don't even remember who she was talking about. So they're all listed below. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon. Bye.